The Linrock Golf Club is right behind me, but you wouldn't know it because it's under several feet of water. The owner tells me this is the third time this has happened this year, and he fears it won't be the last. This is the third time in, in 2020. It's the seventh time since uh, 2018. Each time is hopelessness. I feel hopeless. Some Marcus days. Wilson's hopelessness lingers until the water from the Dan River that's sitting on his Eden Golf Club goes down. It's not a first time feeling, but something he's been through seven times in two years. We get in some areas six to 12 inches of silt and sedimentation that we have to clean up. The Linrock Golf Club used to look like this. It'll look like this when the water recedes. Wilson says it'll cost anywhere from thirty to fifty thousand dollars to fix. Probably have twelve greens underwater. I would probably say that seventy percent of the golf course will be underwater when I wake up in the morning. He's not sure how long repairs could take. Worst case scenario, he might not reopen until March. We're already hurt badly by the winter time. Um, it. It, it's devastating. It really is. Even after having been through this too many times before. And I'm like, how long can we continue to do this? Wilson says he's going to keep fighting until he can't anymore. At some point, you've got to call it quits, but I'm trying not to. I mean, I'm trying to fight through it, and I keep hoping. Like after the last flood, I'm like, if we can have one good year, we're ready to roll, we're ready to go. And then we had a good six months. Wilson is hoping the water will go down at some point tomorrow, and when it does, he'll get right to work.